Would you prefer a minority or majority government? That's a tough question because it really depends on how well they're doing. I mean, a majority government has the opportunity to uh, get things done in a far more efficient uh, way and to pass things. But a minority government seems to have a little more conscience because they're being held accountable. So it, I think that's a really tough question to answer, either one or the other. I like a change of government, first and foremost. Whether well, that's a minority or majority, it doesn't really matter to me. But it's hard to say in this political climate. I, it's like you're damned if you, damned if you don't. I'm not a big fan of Trudeau. I don't know, it might be an unpopular opinion. I like what he tries to stand for, but he doesn't really follow through with a lot of the action that he says, or sorry, the words that he says. Uh, definitely a minority government, because then in that case, um, every person's decision, every person's vote would count more so than in a majority election. Majority election is just um, the majority rules, and that to me, for lack of a better term, uh, leads to majority, leads to a dictatorship, which is not what I want to see. It's difficult to say. Minority governments have always achieved great things, apparently, in the past. Uh, I'm typically in favor of a majority and the buck stops here type of situation where someone has the authority uh, to rule, if you will, uh, and uh, not be hampered or, or have their hands tied uh, by having to cater to minority parties. So I, I think I, I would lean towards wanting a majority rather than a minority, even despite some of the uh, history that min minority governments have, have proven to be very uh, successful. Depends who who's winning, right? <laughs> <laughs> if it's the party I like, then uh, I probably want them to have more power. If it's a party that I don't particularly want in power, I'd probably want a minority. Um, I think I think I would take a minority government if it meant that we had more voices being heard and we were not uh, a borderline two-party system. Yeah. I think majority for me, for sure, just. It seems in minority governments, things don't really get done as uh, effective as we would hope. Presently for myself, I think a minority, I think things are so polarized in each way, I wouldn't like someone to take control that way. So I like the ability to, a, minor, a minority government just to have some check and balances. And I think majority government because it's easier to get things done usually, so. I know minority governments are better, but you know what I dislike about Canadian politics is we've gone, the opposition always just opposes anything. It, they, 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 they should be oppose the things that they really oppose and, and keep their mouth shut about the other things. And I really find, you know, that this is what we've become. We've become, the opposition just is there to oppose everything. Oh, a minority government, no question. Uh, when you're dealing with a majority government, you only hear really one voice, which honestly, with the election numbers that we currently have, if we're lucky to get 50% of the population out to vote, you're getting 51% of the population that voted. So like 26, 27% of people actually getting their voices heard. With a minority government, you're getting compromise that has to be made. So you get the most amount of Canadians getting the most amount of things that are gonna make them happy without feeling like they're getting completely railroaded. Majority. And why is that, sir? Because then they can actually enact their program. And uh, otherwise, it just ends up in a, in a, in a big, uh, endless muddle, right? And they end up compromising too much and, and messing about, and they don't get anything done. I don't want a majority. The reason for that is that I think it keeps the government in line and it stops them from overspending, although they spent quite a bit during the pandemic. Really, parliamentarians need to set an example for the rest of Canadians. They are our voice, they are our leaders. Get together, guys. Let's see minority governments elected, but let's see them work, and let's hold our politicians to account. If people are going to call elections after we've elected them, throw them out. Elect someone new who can get along. I think I would prefer a majority as long as it's a good government for everyone, if that makes sense. I think minorities can actually work pretty well, actually. Um, you know, we've had a minority government in the federal uh, government for the last while, and there's a degree of balance there, and, you know, you can't get those extreme swings. And I think there's plenty of instances in, in Europe, for example, where that works pretty well. Uh, you've got some sort of coalition or some sort of uh, 
some sort of trade-off between different uh, political parties to continue to govern, and I think that's a healthy debate. So I'm not against minorities at all. In fact, I think they can probably work perhaps better than majorities in some cases. It depends. A uh, majority to get things done, probably, because otherwise there's too much dithering and um, things go nowhere or they get blocked, and I don't think that's effective at all. A uh, minority. There's more uh, uh, ability for the opposition to uh, make influence, influence the decisions of the, of the government that's been elected in? Definitely a minority. Um, I would prefer um, representation, like not first past the poll, like Trudeau promised he was going to do. Um, but since we don't have that, I would I prefer minority election because it maintains a better balance of interests from all, cr all across the spectrum in Canada.